Welcome back to Tesh Kid FX for another Phantom Price Prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Phantom chart which at the time of this recording has lost the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance. We have also managed to get into our minimum retracement area to the loss in the formation of that higher ADO 12 count 2 which is a target area that lies between the $0.41 mark and the $0.2733 mark and it is within these yellow target area down here that I'm expecting to see the low for that second wave and once we fully maximize our target area then I'll be expecting another explosive move to the upper side in the formation of this higher ADU 12 count 3 and before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets here on the phantom chart first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first give you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that after making our lower low down there we started this massive bounce to the upper side being the edu structures where I have these edu structure in red having that as the first wave then a wave 2, a wave 3, a wave 4 and then a wave 5 giving us a pick at around the $0.657 mark and after seeing the formation of this wave 5 and also completing that 5 wave structure to the upper side I believe Phantom completed an even larger edu count 1 to the upper side and after seeing the formation of a larger edu count 1 whatever we expected here on the short term scenarios was a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of a larger edu count 2 and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one that gave me a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of that larger ADU 12 count 2 between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.6, uh, 0.78 which is a target area that lies between the $0.411 mark and the $0.2704 mark and it is within this yellow target area down here that I'm expecting to see the low for that second wave and because the second wave to the lower side is a corrective wave I also expected to see a corrective structure in the formation of that larger ADU 12 count 2 and I believe we are seeing such a scenario over here where you can see that we have this ABC corrective structure having that as the wave A then a wave B giving us a peak at around the $0.6 mark and at the time of this recording you can see that we have continued seeing the breakdown to the lower side in the formation of this wave C and once we make a low in the formation of that higher ADU 12 count 2 then that would be the low for that wave C to the lower side and I'm expecting to see that low within this uh, yellow target area down here and I said to you in my previous videos that in case we lose the FIB level 0.618 over here then our our next target area here on the phantom chart will be the FIB level 0.78 and you can see that yesterday we lost the FIB level 0.618 which perfectly lies at around the $0.3536 mark and after losing that key area on the Fibonacci then our next target area is the FIB level 0.78 and we need to continue holding within that is above the FIB level 0.78 for us to still say that whatever we are seeing over here is the corrective move to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 and if by any chance we we lose the FIB level 0.78 then that will be putting a major challenge on the formation of this higher ADU 12 count 2 and in case such a move plays out then there are chances of invalidating whatever we have over here as a one to set up to the upper side and after seeing the low for this second wave once we fully maximize our target area and also have confirmations that we have seen the low for that second wave then I'll be expecting a massive bounce to the upper side in the formation of this higher ADU 12 count 3 so that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and before I give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out we can first take a look at the indicators where on the RSI you can see we are trading at around the, the 24 mark meaning we have managed to get into the overbought region and that means that we have massive room for us to support any movements to the upper side in case the reversal happens but in case the breakdown continues that movement will still be supported on the RSI also taking a look at the mark you have been able to print a bearish cross fully supporting further breakdown to the lower side maybe to get us to the FIB level 0.78 and jumping to the daily chart for further analysis and also give you the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out basing it on the ADU 12 structures here on the daily chart you can see that phantom from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw that massive bounce to the upper side seeing the all time high at around the $3.5 mark in what I'm terming is that first wave to the upper side and after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing lower prices in this ABC corrective structure in a move that gave us 
brokers are low at around the 0.16 dollar mark in what I'm terming is the low for that higher ad 12 count too and after seeing the low for that second wave whatever we expect on the long term scenarios is the start of an explosive move to the upper side in the formation of these of three where I have minimum target areas at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 5.7395 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting phantom to do here on the long term scenarios and also on the short term scenarios and let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.